the very first thing I want to get to today are the uh, November 2016 Sarasota and Manatee real estate statistics. So last week, if you missed it, if you're in Tampa, uh, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, in you know the Tampa Bay area, uh, I covered the statistics for that market last week. Uh, you can see those on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Duck and Duo. Uh, covered a lot of that last week, so this week I'm going to cover the Sarasota statistics. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we do have an office in Sarasota. We opened it up uh, early in 2016, so our first full year of operation was this year. And um, um, so, so we're excited about the growth there and, and all the things happening. And it's interesting because, uh, and I've talked about this many times before, but Sarasota and Bradenton's real estate market does not mirror Tampa's. It is significantly different because it is a second home, vacation home, uh, retirement market, whereas we have segments of our market that that in, you know that incorporate some of that, like Pinellas County and the beaches. Um, you know, it is a dominant second home and vacation home market. Um, you know that that really does provide a lot of the activity there. Whereas Tampa is a, you know, for the most part, the majority of the sales are families, uh, you know, individual people buying for their own needs, uh, not necessarily second homes. So, the in season for Sarasota Bradenton starts to pick up about now, whereas generally, although this year kind of bucks the trend, Tampa slows down this time of year. This year that's not happening. It's not slowing down. Um, we're seeing record numbers again. Uh, but a lot of that is due to the election and interest rates rising and buyers getting motivated. So anyway, on to the Sarasota st statistics. I say that fast three times. Sarasota statistics. Sarasota statistics. There, I said it. Uh, November 2016, we had 568 sales of single-family homes in Sarasota County compared to 540 in November of 2015. Uh, the average sale price was uh, 327 which was right about the same as the average sale price last year. Um, in terms of month supply of inventory, 4.4 months this year versus 3.8 last year. So more inventory. Um, the, the list to sell price ratio is a little bit lower and then the average sale price didn't move a lot but we had more sales in Sarasota County. When you move on to single family homes in Manatee County, uh, we had 431 sales in November of 16 compared to 364 last year. That's an 18% jump in Manatee County for sales of single family homes. However, the average sale price dropped to 337, whereas last year it was 350. Uh, months of inventory, we have 4.2 this year compared to 4.0 last year. So again, same thing in the single family home market in Sarasota and Manatee, year over year, we're seeing more sales but lower prices. That's a sign that the market uh, is is softening a little bit. Um, but it'll be, again, you can't make that prediction just off of one month, uh, especially during uh, the peak season for that market, which starts now and goes through February. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the numbers look like in December once those numbers come out in a few weeks and uh, in January. So when you look at multifamily properties, which are townhomes and condos in Sarasota County, there were 258 sales in November of 16 compared to 234 last year, uh, with an average sale price of 322 this year compared to 309 last year. So in the condo market, prices in Sarasota have risen, um, but we're, we're also still seeing more supply of inventory and a lower list to sell price ratio. So the more months of inventory with the increase in prices, sellers are probably saying, oh, prices are going up, let's sell. So the inventory you know, picks up some. Uh, multi-family townhomes and condos in Manatee County, 160 sales compared to 166 last year. This is the only uh, product type that saw a decrease in the number of sales. Uh, average sale price dropped to 192 from 225, and uh, month supply inventory 4.2 to 4.0. Uh, we'll put this up. Uh, we'll put these statistics up on our Facebook fan page again. That's facebook.com/slash the Duncan Duo Show. While you're there checking out the stats, make sure to enter our contest. The pinned post at the top. Uh, you can enter a chance for a chance to win a Ben Bishop autograph jersey. But Sarasota again, uh, much different market than Tampa. Uh, now we start to see you know a lot of activity from second home buyers, vacation buyers, snowbirds that Tampa gets, but but doesn't move the needle as much because it is such a big market with a lot more family sales that that uh, you know this time of year in years past you know slows down. Uh, I talked last week. Um, you know, our November this year was 30% better than November of last year in terms of the number of sales. So um, November is generally not a great month. So it'll be in interesting to see what happens in December and January if that trend continues for Tampa year over year while Sarasota starts to slow a little bit in terms of um, the pricing gains that it's seen. And it's seen some pretty substantial appreciation. So the fact that 
Um, it, it's starting to, to curve now is, is not that much of a surprise uh, because, again, at some point things start to get a little bit of un unaffordable and you see some corrections there. Uh, one important thing to, that I thought was um, interesting was a lot fewer cash sales. Uh, the past few years, Sarasota and Manatee has been a, a really strong market for cash buyers. Um, it, it seemed like a, a really high, almost half in some of the segments, uh, the number of sales were cash. Uh, those numbers are dropping. The, uh, the number of cash sales in every single one of uh, the market segments between townhomes and condos and single families in Sarasota and Manatee, the number of cash sales is down year over year. What that basically means is people are finally taking advantage of interest rates. Maybe they're keeping their cash and other investments. Uh, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. It just means that the mortgage market is, is probably producing more. There's more mortgages being written, more people comfortable going through that process. Uh, there was a period... Um, you know, even a couple of years ago where, um, you know, there were people just afraid of the mortgage process because of all the bad press around it. So uh, in Sarasota and Manatee, that, that trend has uh, changed and now uh, buyers are much more comfortable getting mortgages instead of using their cash to, to buy property. So again, the uh, Sarasota and Manatee Board of Realtors puts out a really cool infographic with a lot of, you know, graphs and, and pie charts and, and different things regarding the statistics. So if you're one of those people that's really analytical and you're in Sarasota, Manatee, and you're you know thinking about real estate for the next year, we'll, we will make sure to put that up on our social channels as well a little bit later today for you to check out.